Welcome to my channel Black Sheep Logic. Recently I did a review of this Volt Common Leap from Ideal Industries. It's positioned in the market between that of a non-contact voltage tester and a stick meter. Today we're going to take a look at this Ampro VPC91 as well as the Fluke T-Pro Plus. Both of these stick meters offer more functionality than the Volt Common Leap but of course at a higher cost. So let's take a look at both of these on the bench for a side-by-side -side comparison. On the bench we have the Flute T Plus Pro. It can measure between 12 volts and 600 volts AC and DC. It has a flashlight, a dedicated ohms function which can measure up to 10K. Its resolution is quite limited to 100 ohms. It also features a continuity tester. This meter can test a GFCI, we won't be taking a look at that today, and it has a manual hold function. On this side we have the Ampro VC31. It can measure between DC volts 6 to 380 volts, and AC from 24 volts through to 1000 volts. It also has a GFCI tester on it, and the EF function is equivalent to a non-contact voltage tester. We won't be taking a look at that today, it is actually quite limited on the Ampro. Both of these stick meters have an LCD to display the actual voltage on, and both of these stick meters incorporate a shaker. In use, apart from the Ampro VPC31 having a slightly higher measurement range, these meters are very, very similar. They are also very similar in cost. With just the Ampro connected to the AC mains, showing that this is an AC mains voltage, a 120 volt indicator lamp is lit, the display is also showing 121 volts. Disconnecting the amp probe continues to display the measurement for about 15 seconds. With the flute connected to the AC mains, we have a warning lamp, indication of AC volts, the 120 volt indicator is brightly lit and it's reading 123 volts. The Fluke T Plus Pro also has a louder annunciator. When disconnected, it did not hold the measurement. Pressing the hold button continues to display the 124 volts. However, the scale is no longer lit. Both of these stick meters have a continuity function. The Fluke T Plus Pro continuity tester is latched and it is very quick. The Amprobe continuity function is also quite quick but it is not as loud. The final feature on the bench today that we're going to take a look at is the Fluke T Plus Pro LED light. It will stay on as long as you keep the button pressed. It automatically turns off after about five seconds. So in summary, there really is not much of a difference between these two stick meters. I prefer the Ampro VPC31 simply because it automatically holds the reading on the display. Plus Pro is a really nice stick meter. The LED lamp is a nice addition. Both of these are priced very similar to each other. It really comes down to personal preference or perhaps the better deal on the day. Thank you for taking the time to watch this review. If you did enjoy this review, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much.